Hello, my name is Julia Brückler. I am Glutamator Team Rider. And today we're going to be talking about gear, especially for girls and beginner girls. What do you have to look out for? What do you have to do? What would I recommend? And what is probably not the best thing to do at first? That's what we're going to be talking about today. A lot of people always ask me what would I recommend for a young girl or even young kids, it doesn't matter what gender, when you start skating. Like, what should you do? And I always tell them, I think the biggest issue that a lot of, especially girls have, is that they're just intimidated. They're intimidated, they're, they're gonna be embarrassed, they're intimidated, they're gonna fall down and just like kind of make a fool of themselves. And that's why they don't even start. Because they think, ooh, I don't wanna fall down, I don't wanna have people laughing at me. And that's 100% understandable. Like, I would lie if I would be like, yeah, I don't understand, I don't see your point. But the thing is, it's so worth it. And the only thing that's embarrassing is if you don't do it just because you, you're just afraid of it. There's nothing to be afraid of. Like, of course, are there skateboarders who are assholes? Yeah, of course. But most skateboarders are super nice. They're gonna be super supportive and they're not gonna laugh at you because everybody has been there. Everybody has started at some point and everybody has fallen down 5,000 times. I skate, I've been skating for 20 years and I fall down 500 times every day. That's just, that's just how it is and there's nothing, there's really nothing you have to be embarrassed about. Just don't like let yourself, like don't stop yourself from doing something that might be like awesome and that might become a big passion just because you think that ooh, someone's gonna laugh at you. Because skateboarding is something that really teaches you stuff for life, even though that sounds very like dramatic, but it's true because you're gonna learn, all right, I wanna do this, I'm gonna fail a hundred times, but I'm gonna try again 101 times and then I'm gonna get it. And that's something that, that you have to learn for life, that not everything comes like this. Sometimes you have to work for it, but then you can really, really enjoy it and really appreciate it. And of course, skateboarding is awesome for your balance and you know, you're gonna get like fit probably and just, you know, it's good for you. And also you're gonna meet great people, great friends all around the world. So honestly, don't be embarrassed. Just go out and do it. So do women have to look out for something, especially when they're by the first set of, well, yes and no, like I said, the most important thing is that you buy your gear, your board and your trucks and your wheels in the right size. Like I just said, that's like fitting for you, depending on what you want to do, depending how tall you are and all that. But yes, I would lie if I would say like, I don't care what my board looks like. So of course you should always buy something that you like to, like that you like to look at. That's not the most important thing, no. But of course it's nice that to find something that you look nice. And then a lot of people always ask me like, yeah, what brand should I buy, blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's also personal preference thing. I, I ride for Birdhouse, so of course those are like awesome boards, but they're all, pretty much every single brand that you can buy at a skate shop like Glutomato, it's gonna be a good board, it's gonna be all right. They all have like a little bit different shapes and a little bit different like concaves and everything, but that's something at the beginning, don't worry about it. Just make sure you know what size you need and then you can literally just go and buy whatever you think looks pretty and looks nice. That's, that's perfectly okay. Uh, when it comes to skateboard size, there's again no recipe that works for all and there's also no like gender specific board size, I would say, if that's something that you could say. It, in general, it just obviously depends on how tall you are um, and also on your shoe size and then also depends on what kind of skating you like. Um, just in general, I would say, again, go to a skate shop and just try to try and talk to a, a sales assistant and depending on your size and like your skill level also, they're gonna determine um, what size, what, which size is right for you. Just in general, of course, narrow boards, smaller boards are easier to flip, they're a little bit lighter, so you might be able to pop a little easier and get your tricks higher, but the bigger and wider the board, the more like safety or control uh, you can have, and also it depends, do you wanna skate more like bowls and trannies, then you're probably gonna have a bigger board with bigger wheels, so you can get more speed and just cruise around better. If you wanna do more street style tricks, you wanna do flips, if you wanna grind and slides, you're probably gonna have a smaller board, and then that one's also going to have smaller wheels and like smaller trucks. But just when you're just a beginner and you don't really know what what to get and really have no idea, just go to the store and just talk to the sales assistant. They're gonna they're gonna get whatever it's best for you. And it's also always at first just try something like try and buy something that has like an average size. Don't go like extreme. Don't buy like an 8.7 board if you don't know what you're gonna do. And don't buy like a 7.5 and it's like oh well actually I want to skate bowls and now I can't skate bowls. So. It's, so. Yeah, just buy something like in the middle, you really, really can't go wrong with it. Um, I get shoes from Nike, so that's why I do write Nike shoes, but of course this is not the only brand that you can choose. First of all, the most important thing is that the shoes are comfortable. Um, of course, maybe the design is also important because we're girls and it's not just for girls, it's just for anybody, I guess. It's, it's cool if the shoe looks nice, but what's more important is that it feels nice. Me personally, I like my shoes to be like really narrow and I really like a long toe cap. 
but that's just personal preference. So what I think what I should what you should do is just go to the store, Blue Tomato, and just try on a few different kinds of shoes and try just what feels nice, what what looks right and what feels right. I think there is not like a a recipe that works for everybody. Everybody is different. Everybody has different different preferences. So yeah, just go there, try them on, and just see just see what feels what feels nice. And then I think after like a few years of skating, you kind of like figure out what do I like, what do I not like. Like I said, just for myself, I really like a long toe cap, and I don't like when there are like a lot of shoelaces. I don't know why. I just that's just not what I want. But again, that might be wrong for you. So you know, first of all, just go there. Whatever feels nice. I do think there is a difference between women's and men's shoes, just in general they're more narrow. Um, me personally, I've never had any women's shoes because my feet are too big. So obviously there's absolutely no problem if you have a bigger shoe size, you can just also go for the men's shoes. Because also men, there are men that have narrow feet, so there's no problem, it just really depends on the model of the shoe. And here again, just go to the store, try them on and see how they feel. Of course, if your feet are swimming around, that's probably something that you don't want to have. I mean, some people do. I just I like my shoes to be like tight and narrow because that way I have the best feeling on my board. But again, that's personal preference. I would say just go, just go and try them on. But there are definitely most models of shoes come in all different sizes, and they also come in like different, like different models have different width. So you're gonna find the shoe that's right for you, no problem. <laughs> Pop up and be happy. <laughs>